What up, it's your girl Najee. Everybody hates K, but everything golden. And you're listening to T7M Radio with my man's Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. All right, yo, T7M Radio, this is the culture with Seven Mitchell. Oh, Red, what is the problem, my nigga? Like, seriously, I feel like I need an hourglass with the sand in it and flip it upside down to watch these rounds that you trying to perform. Are you kidding me? I am I think he's still going on right now in his third. I think he's still spitting. My fucking god. This is born legacy. I mean, oh red. Niggas legacies have born, been raised, went to school, and had kids and died. Av went up first. Now Av had some dope sports lines. He had some crazy it was some crazy name flips in this battle, and I should have anticipated that with O-Red and Av, but both of those guys had some crazy name flips. The first round, Av was pretty dope. The checker line was bananas. Um, the fruit of a balloon bar, that shit was like a room shaker. The nigga Av said some shit like, I'll press O like accepting a jail call. That was fire, my nigga. Like, Av was doing his thing when it come to the wordplay. He had the penny from Good Times line. His performance in the first round was kinda iffy to me. But I'm glad to see Av back coming off of the um, postponement. He looked okay. Performance wasn't that sharp, but he had the bars. Oh, Red come up, started the round off with a round of applause for Av. I hate, I hate when battle rappers give, take time out of their fucking round to give the opponent a round of applause for that reason. That shit never really hit hard to me. I've never seen that really do something real crazy. Then over it, his, he started his first round off was a lot of filler. Then the wordplay started to get crazy. He had a Chesapeake Bay line, the D Wade line. I looked at Av and could tell he was never street. Like Av had to stand in front of over it and take a lot of that aggression, a lot of that performance. Over it was really aggressive. He had some overhead bars that that murder Av set up. That was kind of overhead. That was dope. He had a Night Rider line that was kind that was kind of crazy. The round was cut a little bit short, but O-Red, for the most part, he did his thing. It was a close, debatable first round. I gave that to O-Red one zip. Now, second round, Av, to me, just didn't seem too engaged in this battle. Like, his bars was there, but in the second round, like, he was spitting too fast for me. I don't I don't want to see him slow it up or change. There was just something about him. It just didn't seem like he was that engaged into the second round. Um... The Rednecks trailer uh, trash line, that was fire. Again, it was some dope ass name flips. I heard the John Legend line, that was kind of familiar. Um, I'm not saying he stole it, but just the John Legend, ordinary people. That's something that we heard before. Um, it, it, I, it just wasn't to me, it wasn't Av at his best. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. The second round was all right. Now, uh, Old Red, I think Old Red had the uh, 49er scheme. I think had a couple stumbles still um, had a slave scheme that was crazy his round was cut again but you know over there he was he was going mad long in the second round so I see why smack um, you know what I'm saying cut his round off short if over there stopped repeating his fucking bars maybe the nigga get more time like every time you turn around old red is bringing the ball back god damn man what's popping like that definitely was taking out a lot of time now the third round Av was cooking. Rocky Five line that he had was crazy. He was tapping Suge a lot. You know him and Suge locked in April 8th, Gnome 7. That's going to be crazy. But Av was snapping. He was he was definitely sick in that third round. Definitely better than his first and the second. He was doing his thing. O-Red come up stumbling and uh, choking. And I mean, and then that third round. I mean, I'm not even going to detail his third round because I'll be until tomorrow. That third round probably to me was the longest. Did, did, did y'all see Smack's face? Did y'all see Smack's face when he was trying to end this battle? Smack looked like he was ready to fall asleep. He wanted the fucking lights to go out. Like, he just wanted something to happen. Like, this was crazy. Oh, Red, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know he was going way long. I don't. I know this was your return, but god damn. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? You rapped. For the whole time that you was gone away from the URL. For like that whole couple years that you was gone. That's how long your third round was. Jesus Christ. 
Y'all just gotta see Smack face in that third round. There's gonna be a lot of memes coming out this week. That shit was crazy, but shout out to Av, shout out to O Red. I gotta give this battle. And I you know I was the first to be on record talking about Av was gonna lose. I gotta give this one to Av two to one. I just was not impressed with that third round by O Red. Two to one Av. So um that's just where I'm calling it. This is crazy though. This is the uh Wow. The culture though, T7M Radio is 7 Mitchell. Make sure y'all join us every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, follow us everywhere on social media as well at T7M Radio. Y'all stay safe, man. Drop y'all comments. Let me know who y'all want in this battle. Matter of fact, I really don't want y'all comments on this one because, see, I was listening to y'all from the gate. I wasn't able to make the actual battle, but the streets was talking about how Old Red won this battle. Y'all are clearly on drugs. I swear to God, I'm going to have to bring some drug tests on the show coming up soon and, and, and get some of y'all right because y'all are clearly getting high. I'm not listening to no fans ever again when it comes to battles. Av 2-1 over O-Red, Born Legacy 5. This is The Culture, T7L Radio with 7 Mitchell. Y'all stay safe, man. We out. The Culture with 7 Mitchell, Battle Rap Debate Podcast on T7M Radio every Sunday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 347-989-8102. And, follow us on social media, at T7M Radio.